Hello readers, Spookathon is about to begin and I wanted to pop in really quickly to tell you what my TBR is, even though I'm likely not to read it. I know, I'm still kind of working overtime and I don't think I'm gonna get to all of these this week, but let's set those goals high. Spookathon is a readathon where you get into the spooky season and read some thrillers. The dates are October 14th to the 20th, so over the next few days. There are five challenges, first of which is read a thriller. So even though Books and Lala has already said that this still isn't the best thriller, I am a big fan of Colleen Hoover and I have not read Verity yet. I'm not entirely sure what it's about, but I think there's a writer that goes to live within another writer's house to help them finish a story or a book because I think his wife was sick or something along those lines. And I don't know if it turns into a stalker situation or that person ends up kind of going through all their personal things and falling in love. I'm totally making this up. Really, I don't care what it's about. It's a thriller and I'm looking forward to reading it. The second challenge is read a book with red on the cover. And for this, I'm going with Beloved by Toni Morrison. This is the Libri Labra book club pick that I'm reading this month. Interestingly, the protagonist of this book is having her house haunted by the ghost of her baby. The third challenge is read a book with a spooky word in the title. For this, I've picked Five Midnights by Anna Davila Cardinal, with the spooky word being midnight. This takes place in Puerto Rico and is about the Latinx boogeyman El Cuco. If I wanted to overlap challenges, which is what I'm probably going to do anyway, this also counts as a thriller. The fourth challenge is read a book with a spooky setting, and I think that would be better served for Five Midnights. However, I'm going to stretch things a bit, and I'm going to go with The Liars of Mariposa Island. And while I don't necessarily think there's actually a spooky setting in here, I'm going to say that maybe it's a little bit haunting in regards to uh, some of the things that happened in the past historically. That might be too much of a stretch, but whatever. I'll read what I want. The last challenge is read a book that you wouldn't normally read, and I'm going to go back to Beloved by Toni Morrison. This was selected as the Libri Labra book club choice, but it's not something that I would have picked up on my own. So that's my Spookathon TBR. I'm looking forward to getting some reading done before I head off to bed tonight. I'll be sure to link to Lala's video and also the Spookathon Twitter in the description below. If you're participating in Spookathon 2, let me know what book you're going to read first in the comments. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.